my favorite quote is, trying to clean your house while you have kids is kind of like trying to brush your teeth while you're eating Oreos. Let's face it, a house full of kids makes for a messy place. And that's fine, it's okay. As one of the quotes in my house says, please excuse the mess, my children are making happy memories. That's cool. But the reality is that we still do need to do housework. There's still things that as parents we have to do to be able to run the house day to day. There's cleaning, there's prepping meals, there's errands that we have to run. All these things take up time and quite often are feel frustrating and useless and repetitive. So let's talk about some tips that we can use, some tricks that we can use to make it easier. Number one, planning. Okay, if we have a plan in place, it makes it a lot easier to be successful and to know exactly what you're doing and how, and it cuts down on the time that needed while you stand around trying to figure out what's next. And one good idea is to use a meal plan, for example. There are a bunch of services out there that allow you to have a planned schedule of what foods that you're going to eat during the week. My personal favorite that I've currently been using is called Prepare. It's an app and you can go to their website as well. You can use meal plans assigned for you based on different food websites, or you can make your own and drag and drop recipes in however you like. There are some different options available there. There's a whole bunch of other ones online as well. Some are free, some are not. You can also just do it yourself if that's what you like to do. There's options available to you, but using a meal plan makes it so at five o'clock and the kids are going, I'm hungry, I'm starving, and you're staring in the fridge trying to figure out what to eat. It won't happen as often if you follow the plan. You can also get plans for housework. There's a website called motivatedmoms.com, which has a daily, daily housekeeping plan so that you know exactly what to clean and when, so that you're not feeling overwhelmed as you looked about your house. Little actions every day make a difference. And I found that that's particularly helpful when I'm trying to clean my house and get things organized. Plus, being able to use an actual plan can help your children be involved. For example, with meal planning, you know what to do for getting groceries and what you're going to make every day, but it also allows you to be able to include your children in the planning plan at the planning stages as well as the preparation stages. If they're old enough to help you in the kitchen, you know what to do and they can follow the instructions along with you to be able to put together a meal that everyone enjoys. For housework, if you have a checklist every day of what needs to be accomplished, the kids can participate by looking at that checklist and taking tasks off the list that they can help with. It makes them feel like an active part of the family. It allows them to make choices of how they can participate so they're not feeling pressured into having to do things. But they can make the conscious choices and it helps you get your house under control. There's other options such as using services. And I'll tell you right now, straight up, if you bring someone into your house, you are not a failure at all. Having the ability to have someone come into your house and do the cleaning for you can free up so much of your time. Let's face it, we are busy parents. We have a lot of responsibilities. And on top of that, we have children to teach. We have homeschool. So if you can afford to have someone come in and clean your house, go for it. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel like a failure. Some other really great resources to be able to use services are to do things like order your groceries online and pick them up or have a delivery service. This can save a lot of time. Filling up a grocery plan for the week online and then going and picking it up at the end of the week can save you hours of work because you just have to log in and click things instead of wandering around a store for an hour. This is a great tool and something that I really personally love to do. Remember to include your kids on every single step along the way of all these different tips, because honestly, they can make a huge difference in whether you are successful or you struggle along the time. Another quick tip, put everything have a place. If you have too much stuff, it's really hard to keep it organized. If everything has a specific spot, anything that doesn't tends to clutter up in piles. My kitchen table and my kitchen island tend to be the major drop points for all the things in the house that don't have a specific spot. If the kids and you both know where things go, it makes it a lot easier and quicker to have a quick cleanup at the end of the day. Make it easy for yourself. Put together a plan of where everything should go and get rid of all the extra stuff that doesn't have space or doesn't need to have a home. Find it a new home, a new house away from you. Okay, so some of the action steps to take from here are to think about how you can use these different tips or other ones that you can think of yourself. Think of a meal plan that might work for you. Come up with, look for a cleaning plan that might work for you. Figure out how to get your kids involved with everything and to figure out how to get your house organized. So your action step, think of the tips and tricks that we've just shared and be able to apply them to your day.